Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are looking at this. It is the Marvel Legends Katie from the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings film. Okay, this is me being an idiot. Um, I thought I reviewed this figure way, way, way back um, when these toys were first released. Um, and to my, my surprise, I didn't. And the fact of the matter is, <laughs> I didn't even own it. Um, I just purchased this recently, um, last week. Um, and today is August 12th, 2021. I bought this last week at Target because I saw it on sale. It was in the clearance aisle. And all the Targets near my house had this figure clearanced out for like $6.89. And then when I saw it on clearance, I'm like, oh... I'll just buy another one, you know, maybe hold on to it for a custom or whatever. And then as soon as I got home, I realized that I didn't even have this figure to begin with. So, um, <laughs> this is the first time I've actually looked at the figure and I'm going to review it. So, me being an idiot, I never had this figure. It's just now that I bought it. Um, and so I'm very Johnny come lately when it comes to video reviews. You know, you've probably seen dozens and dozens of reviews on this wave of action figures but for me this is I don't know <laughs> it's brand new to me so we're gonna take a look at this um, as I stated earlier this is Katie from the new Shang-Chi movie that's due to come out soon um, this is based off the likeness of actress and comedian Aquafina, as we see here so there's some nice character artwork on the side a brief bio on the back uh, Katie Shang-Chi's oldest friend is free-spirited and fiercely loyal. So yeah, um, let's take a look at this. Um, to the best of my memory, I think uh, the KD figure wasn't part of the initial release of Shang-Chi figures. I think uh, it's a Target exclusive. Um, I think. Alright, let's get her out. Um... All right, it's been a while. I don't remember how to open these up. <laughs> okay, this way. There's a, I like. There's a way to open these without completely destroying the package, and I believe it's from the bottom. Um, I may end up just completely destroying the package, anyways. I don't know. It doesn't want to open. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> rip it open. Who cares? All right, so we have Katie from uh, the new Shang-Chi movie. First impressions of the action figure while she's still in the tray. Um, surprised because <laughs> there's this little guy. Um, all right, to be honest, I think I'm more intrigued by whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> it's like a weird fluffy ball with like six legs and wings. I don't know what this is. It looks like a weird uh, headless dog that has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Um, it has four wings and no head. <laughs> so <laughs> I think, I don't know, for me, buying this figure on clearance and getting this wild looking animal, uh, this does it for me. Um, I think I'm almost, I think we're done with reviewing her. Let's just focus on this crazy thing. Um, this looks great. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's wild. I think if you're into tabletop gaming with, with like miniatures, you know, you could put this on a base and use it as like some sort of like boss level character in your Dungeons and Dragons campaign. <laughs> it looks really cool. Yeah, so this looks really cool. Um, nice paint application. Has a cool uh, gradation on its wings, so it kind of goes goes from this turquoise to this like metallic purple on the underside of its wings. Looks really awesome. Kind of wish this thing was articulated. Uh, even more bizarre, there's no, like, um, any sort of, like, copyright stamping or company logo stamped on the bottom of it. So it almost look, it almost feels like it's bootleg. <laughs> but it's really neat. I don't know what this character is or animal. But it's awesome. It's won me over. It's this, for me, paying six bucks for this figure is worth it just to get this crazy little guy. All right, we'll set him aside. All 
And uh, let's take a look at Katie. She has a handful of accessories, so I'm happy with that. Um, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, I prefer more accessories than getting a Build-A-Figure part. Um, I understand the bigger Build-A-Figure model. Um, you know, you get a figure and it comes with a, a Build-A-Figure piece because they, they want to encourage you to buy the entire wave. Uh, but for me, I enjoy just getting a lot of accessories, especially if I'm not interested in the Build-A-Figure. Um, this figure was nice because it, it, since it was a Target exclusive, it didn't have to fulfill that requirement of having a Build-A-Figure part. Okay, so this is Katie from Shang-Chi. Um, looks really cool. I love the fact that she comes with a single arrow and then she comes with like a bunch of them together. Uh, I think you store the the bow in here or I think you store the bow in here. I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly. I think that's right. I don't really know. Am I doing it backwards? Okay, that, that doesn't feel right, but um, seems to fit okay. So, I'm not an archer, so there's the arrows, there's the bow, and is this called the quiver? Um, someone in the comments, let me know. So, here we have Katie. Um, the likeness is based off of actress Aquafina. I want to say the likeness is decent. Um, the expression's kind of very solemn. It doesn't really, doesn't really have a lot of enthusiasm or character. Like, everything I've seen of the Katie character in the trailer, she seems always very enthusiastic, a lot of personality, versus the expression on the figure, which is very kind of just neutral. Um, she's just kind of there. I don't know how Aquafina's posture is in real life, but um, she almost looks like she's slouching when she's in neutral pose. Which is bad for her posture. Um, <laughs> but on a serious note, um, I am enjoying the detail and the sculpting of the action figure. I love the beautiful texture on her dress. Uh, it's really nice. Nice crisp detail, high definition. Uh, what's great is that there's a long slit on the side. So maybe that'll allow for some more movement. Uh, not really. It's kind of hindered. Um, what you could do, if you, I mean, if you wanted to risk it, you could always extend the slit up by just taking an exacto knife and cutting a little bit higher. But in all honesty, I don't know how high this character needs to kick. Uh, what's underneath this? All right, so underneath the dress, um, she just kind of has like these, I don't know, baggy pants. Uh, the top of her upper torso, her chest area, it's not an overlay. It's actually the sculpt of the figure, I believe. Yeah, so this is a solid piece. I was under the impression at first that uh, maybe this had the bare female body and that the top of the dress was an overlay, but it's not. It's actually, it actually feels like it's this one solid piece. Um, really clean paint application, which surprises me, especially for this amount of detail. So there's like kind of this floral pattern on her waist and it's actually sculpted in and painted over. So it's twice the detail, which is really, really nice. Um, if you move her belt a little, you can kind of see the way the figure's um, assembled. She's actually on this, I don't know if it comes, I don't know if I want to force it too much, but yeah, I don't want to risk breaking it. But as you can see here, she's on a ball joint, a very big, fat ball joint and the ball joint isn't perfectly round it kind of has um flat panels to it it's almost like a i don't know if you know video games it's almost like a giant multi-polygon object which is nice because it could, i guess it kind of locks in positions so it's not you know if it was completely round to be it might, it might get loosey-goosey and just roll around but that's interesting the way she's assembled 
Uh, so it's complete giant ball joint, big socket. Yeah, so if you don't have the, you need to have the belt down. If not, you get this weird gappage. It looks like she got her abdomen split open. Like, oh, I'm dying. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I make that noise for all my toys. Um, all right, in terms of articulation, her head rotates, looks up and down. I believe, you know, that's pretty evident. That's on a ball joint. Um, her arms rotate. They go outward. Looks like her elbows. It's only a single single joint on the elbows, which is all right. Um, she doesn't need, I guess, super articulation. Articulated wrists. Um, they're both articulated the same, as we can see here. They both allow for up and down, but not side to side. Uh, but you, you could rotate them. Um, her feet, her knees, double jointed, as you can see here. And as she doesn't have a... I don't think she has a thigh cut, does she? No, she does. She has a thigh cut allowing her legs to rotate. And then she has a, a lower cut um, at the cuff of her pants. So you can rotate her at the ankles. And then she still has additional artic articulated ankles. So they can bend and then it allows for some side-to-side -side movement. Yeah, this is a... It's a nice figure. Um, I can understand why this figure has been <laughs> warming up the pegs at the stores. Uh, for one, uh, um, it's not a it's it's not a figure that's needed for a build a figure. Um, I think if this figure had a build a figure piece, it'd probably sell just as much as the other figures. Uh, number two, the movie isn't out yet. <laughs> um, the movie's been. I don't know if it was. I can't remember if it was delayed or or what. But the movie hasn't been. The, the toys came out a while back, and uh, so yeah. I mean, they need to clear the shelves for the upcoming Marvel Legends. So of course, it's going to be clearance if it's just sitting there. Now, would I have bought this at its regular um, retail price of what, uh, twenty or twenty-two dollars? Uh, I want to say <laughs> maybe no. That's why I didn't buy it to begin with. Um, I remember when the with Marvel Legends the last few years, I've been more selective about about what I get. Um, you know, it feels like Marvel. It, God, it seems like every week they're just dumping more and more Marvel Legends figures on us. And I know for some people that they're you know that's their jam and they get excited about that. But for me, it's like <laughs> just slow down a little. Um, it, it's hard to keep, not that they're not that they force you to keep up. Uh, and not that I'm a completist, but, you know, I enjoy buying new toys, you know, when I see them sometimes. Not for the sake of just buying new toys, but if I'm into the property, if I'm into the license, if I like the characters, you know, I don't mind forking over cash for, you know, characters I like. Um, for me, Shang-Chi was never an A-list character in the Marvel comic books. It's not to say I don't like the character, but there are certain f characters that I'm very fond of that, you know, anytime they come out with a new action figure, I have to have them. Um, I'm a big X-Men fan, so uh, anytime there's a new wave of X-Men figures, you know, I'm, al I'm always on board. Uh, the Marvel MCU stuff, it's give or take. It really depends on how much I love the film. Um, normally, I like to get the flagship characters, but the secondary characters of the films, uh, not so much. It depends on whether they win me over in the movies or, you know, if I need that Build-A-Figure piece. Um, I think this is a great action figure, don't get me wrong. And I am excited for the movie, and I'm excited to see, you know, what this character is all about. But I do understand why, you know, a figure like this doesn't, you know, fly off the shelves. Um, you know, they could have done a lot more to make the character seem more exciting. Because um, even her facial expression, it's kind of like, I don't want to be here. But it's cool, though. Her accessories are awesome. Everything is well-crafted, well-made. Um, the bow and arrow is great. You know, the storage for it is awesome. Um, I love this thing, you know, as we've seen in the beginning of the video, I couldn't get enough of this guy. So wrapping this video up, if I had to rate her numerically, um, so I haven't seen the movie yet. So I don't know how true to form this character is in terms of its toy form. Um, but if I was to base this on the sculpting and the craftsmanship and the paint application, it's an easy 7.5 to an 8. Um, what holds it back really is that it's limited just because of this um, this dress. 
Although I do prefer the plastic dress and, you know, the, the plastic hard goods dress versus the soft goods one. Um, you know, this kind of lim limits the mobility of the character. But at the same time, you know, maybe she's not that, you know, she's not Daredevil, you know. Maybe she's not flying around like in the mo in the movie. You know, maybe she's always kind of standing in a very static, neutral pose. You know, which if, if that's the case, that's that's cool. Um, I enjoy the likeness and the sculpting on the face and the hair. So yeah, it's a decent figure. Um, it's not one I'm going to write home about, um, but it's decent. And I think, you know, once we see the movie, if the movie's awesome, uh, you know, maybe interest in this figure will will peak and maybe people will want to seek her out, you know, for passing her up the first time. But if you see this figure at Target clearance, I highly suggest you get it. That's why I got it. Uh, I got it because I thought I already had it and I... I wanted to buy another one just in the event I wanted to use the pieces for a custom um you know with this you know this Asian themed attire it'd make it a great addition to like you know maybe like a Mortal Kombat line for a custom or you know this I don't know anything in general it's just really neat or if you're just a fan of Aquafina in general you know at least you have a figure of her it's kind of cool to have that so yeah, it's a good, it's a good decent buy, especially if you can find it on sale. Um, can't say much more beyond that. You know, you get the extra pair of hands. You know, you get the fists, uh, and this. This is cool. You know, you can use this on other figures. Um, so, so let's wrap this up once again. My name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thanks again for everything. You know, I appreciate the comments, the likes, and whatnot. Um, I have a pretty sizable library of videos already. So if there's something that piques your interest, go check it out. Um, otherwise, I'll see you again for the next one. Take care.